here, but we do have a lot of other juniors in this event, a lot of upper coin divers. Maisie Bond returning from an injury. She was absent at the Winter Nationals, had a back injury, so she's doing all the big dives up on 10 meter already. She's doing them to a good, really good young divers in this field. So kicking off the competition with a back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist from Irene. Just a little bit short of rotation there. Maybe that long wait just before we started. Yeah, she's lowest starts her routine with a forward three and a half. Training yeah. over in America though, enjoying yeah. herself out there. Yeah, quite a few of our divers now over in America. It's all becoming more common. Mm. Such a fantastic opportunity for them to be able to study whilst also compete as athletes. Yeah, there's tends to be a lot of competitions out there as well, so helps the divers, as we saw yesterday with Holly on the one metre. Get some consistency and confidence in the competitions. Another arm stand dive here from Irene, kicking off our second round. What's up, but it's to be said that that handstand didn't quite look as stable as maybe Robbins or Andreas in the first round that we saw. The judges will definitely be penalising for that. Not quite the four and a half there from there. That concludes round two. Come to round three. Back to our guest, Irene. Another 3.2. Pretty good there, I like the attack on the start, great ankle pop, you see the divers will usually go up onto their tiptoes, drop their heels and then try and get a spring out of their feet. Yeah, it just seems uh, very difficult to keep that rotation going. So good job. After three rounds, our leader is Andrea. From Dive London, 200 world international competitions. Still gonna have to make sure your prelim is a good standard to make it through to the next round. Brilliant. Really nice dive for the water there. Mm. You can hear those hands connecting with the water making a ripping, clapping sound as she hits like it may be a battle between those to a little personal battle for that final qualifying spot for the final. Oh, one more round to go. Irene kicks us off with her easiest dive, reverse dive, pipe. A little flutter as she went through the water there. Meter. So for the ones that don't do the multiple spinning optionals yet, unfortunately you're going to have to choose an easier dive. That rule has been set in place, so we don't... With those toes, it just gives her control into the finish. Great entry from her. Next up, we have using the towel on the end of the board. Mm. Some people prefer that for a little bit of grip, maybe. Yeah, you don't see it as much as you used to. No, it used to be very popular. For the... Try and generate that somersault and jump as high as you can. Some girls obviously slightly more timid and... composed yeah. in a way, but... Ellen not afraid of the 10-meter, it seems. Yeah, very impressive from her. Irene, next up. With her arms down choice. Better than this morning again. Just lost her feet a little yeah. bit as she was twisting around. And I'm wondering if that made a slightly over twist on the end. I'm wondering if any judges will pick up on that. Sometimes some do it. Yeah, there we go. Judge three potentially picked up on the over twist. Judges control. They haven't got a stopwatch out, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> 
now Irene. I do remember when we were younger, we used to try and hold our handstands for ages on the end of the board. I always got beaten by you. <laughs> Still get beaten now. Don't know about that. Oh, nice dive again from Irene. Really good. Low finishing, but she's... In the final. This morning's diving clearly enough to see her through to the final, but we've seen a step up. Freeze. Oh, we've got our results up here. I'll stop blabbing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, carry on, Jack. <laughs>